Greetings, this is July 18th in the wee hours of the morning. The MODA system updates heat detections at about 12.30 a.m. So it's a good time to see where new hot spots are and what direction they may be going. We're looking at the Flat Lake Fire. This is west of Highway 97, uh, around 83 Mile Lake area. There's only four new hot spots that showed up. That's a good sign. A couple in the north end or the northern flank within the existing perimeter. And likewise, the ones on the southeast not seeing any sort of expansion or movement. If we jump down to Lytton, uh, this is east heading towards the bend in the Thompson River. We see two on the north side. And then there's three more some distance from the highway on the south side of the river. Uh, they look to be within the existing perimeter from the day prior. We've moved north to the Tremont Creek fire. We're looking at new modus infrared displaying in the forested block approaching the Thompson River towards Juniper Beach and Wallakeen. Uh, it's right to the edge of the forested block there. So beyond that is uh, open ground. And keep in mind, uh, these heat detections don't mean that there's fire within that entire square. It just means that somewhere within that square, heat is being generated. We're moving eastward now. We're at the White Rock Lake fire, and uh, this has been moving in an eastward direction. When we looked at the infrared uh, for yesterday, uh, there was a grouping or cluster of infrared along the Douglas Lake Road and it appeared to be making moves to the eastern side of that road. Now in the updated modus infrared we do see a heat detection within the large forested block east of the prior perimeter. Now we're only seeing what's uh, available data being shown on satellite so the ground reports through BC Wildfire are very important. But let's jump to the wind and we see that there are western gusts uh, peaking in the afternoon and they're increasing each afternoon it gets a little bit stronger so that's something to be aware of and uh, especially if uh, you are looking at access to the area. And if we zoom out and look at the terrain and the vegetation to the east of that fire flank, uh, there's a lot of forested blocks. Uh, there's some infrastructure lines in there. There is a lake and uh, there are communities further northeast. We're jumping to the BC Wildfire map. Uh, you can get situation updates there. We're clicking on an icon for that fire. That's the White Rock Lake fire and looking at the description in the write-up. It's described as moderate fire behavior driven by winds. Uh, there's personnel on site, four firefighters, uh, four helicopters, and nine pieces of heavy equipment. Um, also, if you're in the area that comes under the Thompson Nicola Regional District, the link is below in the description just to see what sort of evacuation orders and alerts there are. Moving even further east, we're now east of Vernon at Mabel Lake. There's uh, some new infrared that's popped up in a cluster on the east side. Uh, there have there's fire activity there already. Uh, we're just looking at the new infrared that's come up in since 12:30 a.m. Uh, north of Sugar Lake, new infrared popping up there. We're moving southward now. Uh, we're southeast of Skaha Lake, east of Okanagan Falls. Two new modus heat detections going up the hillside towards the Okanagan Plateau. They're right at Allendale Lake Road. And uh, this may be expansion uh, to be aware. We're looking at strong gusts coming in the peak heat of the day between 2 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That'll come from the south and then in the evening when it cools down, the winds shift and there could be strong breezes coming from the north. I'm referring to the forecast by the ICON weather model. That takes uh, data from weather stations within 13 kilometers. So it's a kind of a localized approach. You can click on the left-hand side of Windy uh, 
to see where the weather stations are or at the bottom of the screen click on compare and you can look at all the different weather forecasts stacked up back to back and kind of see who's more accurate if you're tracking the weather patterns. It can get a little confusing if you're tracking different uh, data points. So the things to remember are where is the fire, uh, what direction is the wind blowing, what is the vegetation and terrain, and what are the access routes that I have. Also, check for the ground reports. Go to the BC Wildfire links below and uh, be safe. Thank you very much for watching. This is just kind of a quick update to catch the modus when it's fresh, first thing in the morning. Thank you. Be safe. Keep your nose to the breeze.